Hi everyone, uh, just letting you know that uh, this is my first ever broadcast on a YouTube channel and uh, just thought I would show you uh, what I'm up to. I'm just uh, driving to my workshop in town here and uh, I'll let you in and uh, show you what's going on, eh? Cool, here we go. Alright, so here we are. This is my uh, workshop. It's a uh, 600 meter square building. It's over 100 years old. And this is uh, where I um, hang out sometimes on the weekend and um, work on what I've got here. Alright, um, this is my first ever uh, YouTube um, video that I've ever made. Um, I'm yet to even start a channel up or anything, so um, please bear with me and uh, don't be too hard on me because uh, I'm not very used to doing this sort of thing. Uh, this is um, a first for me, it's a bit daunting. I'm not very technical um, when it comes to things like YouTube and the filming and uh, and the, and, and the like, so um, see how we go and as, as I progress through all this um, hopefully I'll get better as I go and um, hopefully you like what you see and yeah, great, cool alright yeah, so um, just a little bit of um, history about me um, I've always liked MR2s, I've had a couple of AW11s when I was younger um, I never had a SW20 though, but um, a couple of AW11s, I was the first guy in New Zealand to do a a 3S conversion um, in New Zealand and had, had a lot of fun with that um, same sort of concept as this uh, you know, tight budget didn't spend a lot of money but a lot of fun so that's the plan I'm gonna uh, use the same principles on this cheap fast fun do the job properly and um, hopefully I'll have a good outcome yeah I like things and doing things a bit different to everybody else and um, you know I don't want to put a 2GR or a 1MZ or whatever they have in the in the, in the American uh, MRSs. I'm going to be putting a Mitsubishi motor into a uh, into a Toyota. So yeah, I'm sure a few of you are not going to be too happy with that, but that's all right. That's the way it goes. Um, and there is the reasons for my choice. Um, engine like this costs three hundred dollars. It's got a uh, steel block. It's got uh, four bolt mains, cradle, bottom end on it. It's quite compact because it only has a single uh, overhead cams, as opposed to quad cams. Um, they're a nice smooth motor, they make good torque, good power. Um, you can get aftermarket parts for them quite easily. Rods, pistons. And um, yeah, um, I'll go into depth about the engine once we get into it. But um, yeah, that's the plan. As you can see I've sort of mocked up bits and pieces for it, some mounts and uh, bits and pieces. But, um, like I said, I've started this YouTube channel a bit too late, and um, I've already started on the project, so um, we'll have to do a bit of catching up. The next thing I've got here that you may or may not have noticed is uh, these wheels are five stone, which is... Um, 
a bit of a rarity in MRS, uh, MR2 Spider World. Um, and the reason for that was uh, so I could get a good selection of wheels for it. Um, that disc that's on there is a factory SW20 MR2 disc. Um, and it lines up perfectly with the caliper, the original MRS caliper. Um, I think in all it's uh, two millimeters diameter bigger. So it's pretty much the same disc except one's a five stud and one's a four stud. The uh, hub that's in there is a factory MRS hub, but the, um, the actual um, five studded spindle is actually off a Mitsubishi and it fits straight in there um, with very minor machining pushes in there, presses in there and end up with a five stud conversion on the back end the only thing that's uh, not quite right with it is it does not have any ABS sensor system on it anymore which is fine for me because I'm not interested in ABS this car is going to be fully rewired and um, that won't be needed I sort of more along lines of um, less is best for me. Front end, you'll also see five stud conversion. It's got Mazda RX7 FC Mazda RX7 calipers on it. Believe it or not, those discs are the rear end of a Evo 5 onwards. Mitsubishi Evo onwards, obviously a 5 stud, hasn't been re-drilled, fits um, on, the hub that's on the front end um, is a Mitsubishi item, it's a hub assembly that bolts on, believe it or not, to the original MRS um, arm, front arm. Uh, with minimal work as well. There's a couple little shims in there and that's about it. Okay, what we've got here, what we've got here is a blue steering rack. Um, this steering rack has been pulled apart. The piston in the middle of it has been pulled out. Um, I haven't done the cheapy, just the loop over. It's not the proper way to uh, manualise the power steering rack. Um, I never used to drive it with the power steering connected uh, with the um, electric hydraulic power steering because it was um, just so light and horrible um, so what I've done is I've um, done it properly now where I've um, instead of just pulling the fuse out I've actually pulled it apart taken the piston out of the rack I've taken the guts out of the um, the hydraulic switching guts there is all gone, it just slides off the shaft and the torsion bar and all the insides of the um, rack have been shimmed and pressed together to make one solid uh, structure. Um, in New Zealand we're not allowed to weld anything at all to do with steering. Um, I will be in touch with the hydraulic specialist, um, power steering, steering specialist and um, they can check out the work and hopefully, fingers crossed, they accept uh, what's been done. Um, I can talk about that a little bit later. I'll have to pull it off and pull it out. And um, I can show you what I've done inside there. It's, um, it's all been worked out and it's all done good. Alright, so, yes, you may have noticed there's a big fat intercooler in the front here. But we'll leave that story for another day. Um, the front end's missing. Obviously, I'm um, going to be doing a lot of work in there. The fuel tank is obviously missing in the back that we talked about before. And believe it or not, I'm going to fit the fuel tank in the front here. Uh, in behind all this stuff here, I want, to need, I want to try and aim for 40 litres. And I think I can get that in there without um, too many hassles at all. So, see how we go. So... That's it, that's my project, and it's going to be a slow prog uh, progress, I would say, on this project, but, um, yeah, you know, working all week and then coming home to do this in the weekend, but, uh, 
trying to fit it in between family time and other things that I have to do. It's um, it's hard work, so progress will be slow, but um, there will be progress. And um, yeah, yeah. So tell me what you think about all that, and um, if you think I'm crazy or not, and um, we'll see how we go.